So we've been looking at adding products manually and I hope you've managed to add quite a few to your site. And you probably remember me saying that, you know, we were gonna do this manually so you could see how it worked. And it is very important to know the details of how to do it properly but that there are also automated processes. And that's exactly what I wanna introduce now. In fact, what I wanna introduce is an app called Oberlo, okay? Now, Oberlo has two functions. Its first part is it can import products directly from AliExpress, making your life an awful lot easier. Uh, and secondly, it can do the order fulfillment. Now, at this stage, I don't wanna talk about the order fulfillment because we haven't got to that point in the course. So I'm gonna focus on showing you how to use Oberlo to import products. So let's dive over to the admin and get started. So the first thing we want to do is go to apps and then go visit the app store like we did before when we got the product review app and then we want to search on Oberlo. Now Oberlo is a completely free app you know that's the good news. Uh, there is a paying part but quite frankly unless you become really really big you will not need to pay for this app and you know basically if you become really big then paying for this app won't be a problem in any case. So to install it, all we need to do is click on get and then simply install app. Okay, simple as that. No weird code that we need to do this time. That's the good news. Now, what it does is it says there are two to four steps completed, all right? It says create a Shopify store. Well, we've done that. And connect your Shopify store. And it's done that automatically, okay? It has connected Oberlo to our Shopify store. Now, something super important I want to draw your attention to and let's just get rid of Toma here for the moment, is that we are on Oberlo. We are not on our admin system anymore. Okay, so here's the admin system here, as before. And over here, we are on Oberlo. If you look at this, we've got app.oberlo.com dashboard, okay? And this dashboard, this second dashboard, if you like, uniquely for Oberlo, is where we're going to manage the import of products from AliExpress. And from here, we will send them directly to our store. So you can kind of think of it as a kind of a holding area before we finally send it to our store. Now, if that's confusing, don't worry. It will become very clear very, very shortly. Now, going back to our two out of four completed, the third thing it wants us to do is to find and add your first product. Well, that seems like a very, very good idea. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. And for the moment, I just want you to click on find products. Now this brings you to the Oberlo search engine, okay? And if you ever need to get back here, in this menu over here on the left-hand side, you've got dashboard, and over here you have search products. So if I was to click on search products, I'll be straight back here. Let's just do that to show you exactly how that works. All right, so back here I am. Now this is clever stuff because we're on Oberlo, as you know, but all of these products, as I scroll down, are coming from AliExpress directly. I don't need to visit Ali, all right? So let me just go back up the top there. And with my dog jewelry in mind, let me just type in dog jewelry into the search engine and just click on search. So I get 33,000 results all coming from Ali, all right? You can see all this stuff. Some of these things might look familiar from the things you've been looking at on Ali during the course. But now if I want to import, this is very, very straightforward. Let's just say I was interested in this necklace. All I would do is click on add to import list. So I'll do that right now. So what it's done is it's taken that product from Ali and it's put it into my import list. My import list, if you like, is that holding area that I was talking about. It hasn't quite gone onto our site. And I can make that even clearer by showing you what the import list looks like. So again, back over to this menu here and you'll see we've got import list. So if I click on this, here we go. Here's the product I just clicked on. You can see that it's taken straight away the title, okay? If I go to the description, I've got the description directly from AliExpress. Variants, okay, we didn't have any variants. This is a simple product, but nevertheless, it's pulled everything off. And of course, the images. And it's not quite done yet because if I go back to product, I can actually choose to attribute it to one of those collections. So for example, necklaces would make sense. So it would immediately put it into the necklaces collection on my site. And in fact, the only thing I would need to do now to put it onto the site is to simply click on push to shop. 
Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now because there are a number of things that you need to consider before you really start using this app in earnest. And I'll be talking about those in the next lecture. But right now, you can really see the power of Obolo, right? Just a few clicks and you are done. Now, to finish this lecture, I just want to take you back to the search engine. If I go back to Dog Jewelry, what I can do is set the price. Okay, so in our model, we want to go between zero and four dollars. And of course, also for my golden rules, we are looking for ePacket. So very quickly narrowed down to products that are going to be of much, much more interest to this very profitable drop shipping model. So all I would then have to do is basically decide what I want. So I could add to import list. I could add to import list. <laughs> I can add to import list and so on. You can see how simple this is. You know, if we go back to the import list now, you will see that that is building up very, very nicely. Now, before you get overexcited about how mega easy this is to do, in the next lecture, I wanna give you some top tips to make sure you do this properly.